listing and researching two of the biggest aspects to get the money from the items you've sourced we're going to dive into that today we're going to show you some tips and tricks and i'm going to list a few items and show you our simple steps Hey, it's Don. We're going to delve a little bit into listing and quickly researching your items. I've pulled up some items. We're actually going to hop over to my hub and we're going to list some things. Now, I just scanned a few items. Um, I use my duplex scanner. I just popped them in real quick. You can see them all right here. I've got a photo involved. I've got a couple of engraved CDVs from the Civil War time frame and a couple of real picture, real photo postcards here. Um, let's go ahead and list these up. So we're in the hub now. I just go ahead and pick a listing in the same category. For me, it's not a big ordeal to switch a couple of things. Most all of my listings are about the same other than some wording and maybe the category itself. So we're just going to sell similar from another trade card. And I'm going to put it in F73. That is the location from where this would be going for storage wise. So the first card is actually a vintage Victorian card from around 1890s. So that's what we're going to put in here. Now we're just going to put the name straight from the front of the card on here. If I can spell it right. I always put the name. I always put the city on things like this. So we've got Marshall, Michigan. Let me see where we're at. And then he's a, let's see here, agent. American and Red Star Line business card. Uh, we'll put trade card. We'll put trade card. It's both. Uh, if it was a business card, it probably wouldn't be written in German and such forth on the opposite side. So everything fits in the listing right here. We've got the same category again because I did one from Cell Similar. The only other thing I need to do then is get some measurements. I always put measurements on these when I am doing them. And this card is four and five eighths inches. So we can do four and five eighths inches. It's actually two and five eighths inches tall. I don't care if it's, you know, short side, long side first. It does not matter to me at all. So we're going to go upload the card now. So we need to get to the right folder. I think this is the right folder. And yes, there it is right there. So we're going to pop those in here. Okay, so now on this one here, usually I do a zoom in, but there's nothing really graphic on this card. The first one I think that should go up here is the German version because that's going to be the oddball one. You do not find very many items written in Germany from Marshall, Michigan, especially from this time frame. So that's all the photo that I'm going to go here with. So we're going to go ahead and look up Marshall, Michigan here. Just cut and paste. I've got this opened up here. We're going to uh, trade card. And we're going to see what pops up here. We're going to just leave it there. Uh, so let's see, Marshall Carpets, Marshall, Michigan. So here's one new home. Now this, I can tell just by looking at this, that this is a sewing machine, the standard card. It went for a little more because it's from Marshall, Michigan. So we can do one more thing here. Let's go in and just put in Michigan, just like that and see what we get. So we do get a couple more, obviously, here. Let's double check the category. It's only one from actual Michigan. It's probably the one, yep, the one we've already looked up. So I don't have a lot of data. I can tell you, though, without a doubt, that this is a new home sewing machine one is very common, the design. Mine has German and English in it, so it's going to be double or triple bare bones minimum, I would say, from this right off the bat. I'm going to put it up for 5750 just to be sure because it's tied into, in fact, we can give it a little more space here. Let's get rid of the comma and let's get rid of the dot because we're going to need it in just a minute here. So again, we're going to leave it at just this. This is a steamship company item too. So I, I've got that in the title. I don't have steamship, unfortunately, but I think the most important aspect is on here right now. So let's go ahead and leave this the way it is. We've got the size, trade card, brand. No, we do not need a brand, but we're going to leave that there. Modified, no. 
country of manufacturer, no trade card. So we've got 5750 is what I'm putting on this one right here. Quantity of one. Now I've talked about business policies. I don't have to set up anything else on here whatsoever because I use default for my most common items, which are cards. They're small. They all weigh the same. The shipping policy is the same. Return policies, payment policies, all of that's the same. I use the same setup right here. Three to four ounces is usually what I throw at them for these cards. It's the same exact cost, whether it's three ounces or four ounces, so it doesn't matter. I mail them in six by uh, nine poly bags, where it's cardboard wrapped around them, and it weighs about three ounces or so, depending on the size of the cardboard. So we're going to go ahead and list this one. That's all there is to this one here. Now, I had two of these that were identical, so I can come back in here. And when I've got two that are identical, but they're not quite the same because of maybe wear and tear, this one has some staining on it, so the other one does not. So I just add a number, like a 2 or an A or something else, into the listing. I don't have to type anything else up. All I'm going to do then is I'm going to bop down here, and we're going to upload the other card. Now, I'm going to price them the same. There's a high probability that you know the same person isn't going to see them the same way like this. So again, I've got the German one first, and this is how easy it is to do a second one like that. I don't violate any rules on eBay with double listings because I actually altered the title. One single digit, one single anything changes the whole aspect of the title. So never worry about it from that point on. Now we're going to list a photo next. So we're going to wipe this off. We're going to keep it in the same section. So I've got... 1940s on this next one, WW2, and we've got a uh, hula girl, and this is actually from Hawaii. Hula girl, Hawaii. We're going to put US Navy Sailor Photo Booth Real picture and we're going to just leave it at that that's going to be my my title here so we can go look this up as well so i've got a photo uh girl uh let's put navy let's put sailor uh and then booth i think that should be enough to get some action in fact here we go right off the bat these are ones that i've actually sold at least the first one is this is one of mine right here um, I got 54, which is looks like it's actually one of the highest ones. Nope, let's see which one's the highest ones while we're looking. So there is one with two Hulu girls here. Uh, arcade photo booth, $76. I'm going to add arcade to the title, too. Let's put in, let's see if I can put in arcade with space. Okay, so I've got arcade in there. I think that's important, too. You can see there's some nice track record. Uh, mine's fairly high up. It's only the fourth highest selling one, but there's a whole bunch below us. Quite a few of these as well. Um, how many were there total? Is there a second page? Uh, I don't see a total count up on here. I don't know why they've done that, but 27. Okay, there we go, 27. So I'm going to put this one up as well at the same price range. We're going to figure out where we're going to put it. And this is a military one, so it's most assuredly going in the original period United States photograph section. Always, always, always where I would put something like this. Sometimes real photo, real picture postcards I would put in the same section, not postcard section. Now, where are we going to put these? Now, I have a military section, so that's where it's going in my section here. Let me grab my ruler, and we're going to measure this out again. This one's right at 4 inches, so we can just come back in here, back this up 4 inches, and let's see how wide it is. Uh, and then it's 2 and a quarter the other direction, and we can just put photo measures around. And uh, let's see here. The image is in very nice condition. And that's about all we need to do. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this and upload the image. Now, this one I'm going to do a zoom in. So I'm going to have to upload it twice to get the image up where I want it. We're going to upload the face one more time so we can do a zoom in. Just takes an extra minute. So we're going to come over here, drop this one in the front. I'm going to zoom in on the best part here, the hula girl part. So that is it. It's going to enlarge in it. So when someone's scanning, it's going to be a nice big image here. And that's all I've got to mess with with this one here. Um, conflict. I do try to fill in these when I'm doing it. Modified, no. 
original, yes. Region, United States. Theme, military. Uh, country, region of manufacturer. This is United States, again. That's all we're going to do. Again, I really honestly try to put in what I can. Original, vintage, photo. Oops, let me get back here and get rid of that. So we got photo. Uh, we're going to get rid of this part here too and leave it at that. So price-wise, I'm going to do 54. Let's let's leave it at, yeah, let's do 54. It, it's potluck sometimes on price, what you want to do with it. Same shipping policy, same everything else again. I don't have to do anything else but slide down to the bottom and list it. So now we've got three listings, just a matter of a few minutes. Now, I also have two images that are like CDV filler cards. So we've got eight, oops, 1860s, Civil War era. Now, this says president on it. It doesn't say martyred X or anything else like that. This is most assuredly uh, a CDV. What I'm listing now are basically a photo of a engraved image of Lincoln. So we want Abraham... Lincoln and President and Mary Todd Lincoln CDV lot of well we're not gonna have room lot so we want to put lot so why don't we just go ahead and get rid of president we don't really need that in here so we're gonna put CDV lot of two and then we're gonna keep the same location so that's all we've got to do so I'm going to put a size in here. This first one is three and three quarters. So we've got three and three quarters inches by, let's see what we got there. And it's about two and five eighths across. Oops, five eighths. And we're going to go ahead and put in CDV's measure around that the images let's get rid of this images are in decent condition for their age one has two corners clipped as shown below so that's all we're going to put in the description we're going to go ahead and wipe these out and then we're going to import them to pop on down here we did them together so I can just highlight them all bring them in I'm gonna do one extra and we're gonna bring in another one of Lincoln himself and we're gonna do a zoom in on this one here so we can bop this one up I'm gonna put his name in there just so they can see that part and we're gonna leave it at that now price wise this is not a real image so it's not quite nearly as good. Let's see what category do I have it in. We need to change the category. Civil War original period. Other original period. We're going to put it in this top section here. The photograph section, I'm going to leave it in military under mine. It's used. So we can come back down here. They are original. Theme's going to be military. Conflict's going to be Civil War. Country of manufacture. United States, modified, no uh, original vintage photos in good condition for their age, as shown. And that's it for there. Now, price-wise, uh, you can look them up. You can come over here, CDV Lincoln, and then we're going to see what pops up. Now, price-wise, they go all over the place, depending on, yeah, obviously, if it's signed like this first one here. And then it goes down from there. A real photo will always be worth more than something like I'm showing you now. Mine's a picture, basically, of an engraved image. Him with his top hat, definitely better. Matthew Brady, uh, where'd that one go? This one's Matthew Brady, a very well-known military photographer during the Civil War. If it's got his name on the back, it goes for a heck of a lot more. So you can look through here. Most all of these are real photos. So I do not have a real image. I have an engraved image of him. You'll see other items tied to him as well. Um, let's just look through here just a minute just to make sure I'm not missing some other aspect. Again, it doesn't look to be that case. Uh, Matthew Brady, Jim, CDV, ferrotype, which is basically a tin type. 
So, so far, mine still wouldn't be anywhere near these here. The Martyr and the Father, okay, so George Washington, that's a patriotic. So we're just going to flip through here just a few minutes. Again, I don't see anything in the comparable range, but I think I will raise it just because you never know. Let's put this one up for 125 just to be safe. Again, I'm basing it on what I see in here. Some of these I wouldn't expect to go for quite that much, but they did. Some of them are signed. This one I've had, The Martyr and the Father, um, and it usually doesn't go for that much, at least since the last time I sold it. So I think we're safe on 125 on this one. We're going to go ahead again and list it. Everything else is the same. So the last two items are some real photo, real picture postcards, circa 1920s. Again, same location number. I'm going to put these in. We're going to do 1920s. Uh, first one is We Woka. Oops, let me get some space in there. Again, I'm trying to record, talk, and look at several things. So now this first one actually has a specific date handwritten. So 1926, We Woka. And this is Oklahoma business section downtown. RPPC, real photo, cars, signs. Um, let's see if we got room for postcard. Nope, we don't have room. In fact, we can make some room. Let's go ahead and get rid of the comma and put postcard in there. So that's what we're going to go with this one. We've got topographical, which means city locations. We're going to let that load. Then we're going to come over here. Military, we need to change it to postcard. And we're going to get rid of this one here. The card is in good condition as shown below. And that's all I'm going to leave it with. We're going to get rid of this. And then we're going to upload the image here. Start with this first one. Now this one I'm going to do a zoom in as well. So while that's uploading, it allows you to do one more. And we're going to come back up here and we're going to do the town name. I'm sure there's not more than one town with this. And we're just going to look this up here. And we're going to type in RPPC and that's it. And right off the bat, we get a nice one. Marble City, Oklahoma, Rock Quarry postcard. Not the same thing. This is just some house, 20 bucks. House, barn, servant, bringing horse. We don't know if it's a servant. It could be a worker. It could be someone from the house. Nothing special. This one, without being able to see the actual image itself, at least gives me some idea. Now, this is a Main Street image that I've got here, which is totally different. So we're going to zoom in on one here. And a zoom in basically crops it down so you can see the best part of the image. It enlarges it so that you can see it much better. Now, we're going to brighten this, darken this up, I think, just a hair, because it's a nice image. And that's about what it actually looks like. So we're going to leave it at that. So now that's the main image there. We're going to leave the other ones just like you see them. A uh, real photo. This is, um, again, we want we woke up. Country USA. Uh, let's see here. Oklahoma. There we are. In fact, we don't have to type it any more than that. Um, and I put in downtown whenever it's a downtown, or actually, let's put in Main Street. Main Streets are highly, highly collected, so that one's fine. Country, region of manufacture, no idea. Uh, single unit. This is an original era, so we're going to put, ah, oh, geez, this one's kind of iffy. We're going to put World War uh, One type. We want real photo. We want condition then on posted. And that looks like that's about it. There's nothing else I need to worry about in here. Vintage original postcard uh, in good condition for its age. its age. So there we go there. So price wise, you know, I'm going to leave it at 125 as well. I've had real good luck with selling these cards. We know there's some track record, not Main Street, not worth as much. Oklahoma has a lot of quarries, I would imagine, back in this time frame. So we're going to leave it at this 125. And I'm just going to go and list it from here. 
So now we're going to list the last one real quick here. I do see that I misspelled postcard, so we're going to fix that on this one. I'll go back in just a minute here, and we'll fix that up in just a second also. No big deal. This is a big plus when you're bouncing around, and you can just pop right back in like this. So let's get rid of this one. Let's go ahead, 1920s for this next card here. And it's the M-E Hospital. And I've got an extra letter we'll get rid of. And it's Norton... Kansas. Real picture, real photo postcard. Uh, so we've got everything we need. We need to get up some space. Uh, vintage. Original. We're going to put all that in there. We've got postcard, condition. So now all we got to do is take care of the image. And we're going to bop down. We're going to do a zoom in on this one too here. So let's do this. And we're going to get another front so we can do a zoom in. And we're going to crop to the best parts. We're going to keep some of the textual aspect and pop it in right there. And there we go. So we've got, let's see here, Kansas. So we've got Kansas, Norton. So that's all there, not Main Street. So let's put in hospital for the theme. Single unit, region we don't know, real photo. This one's unposted, same time frame. It's an original. Nothing else has to be changed. Now, there's a good reason why you stage items like to like items together because it's a lot less work. I don't have to change so many factors. Now, we're going to look up Norton, Kansas also. Norton, Kansas, and see what happens. We might get some good hits here. So let's see here church so the church itself is going for 30 uh yeah, and it looks like it's a pretty decent card so we're going to put it up let's say 95 on this one here again i try to get three times so if it's going for 30 a similar card again me church me hospital same basic principle same town same time frame 3x 90 bucks or better so 95 bucks on this one here now i honestly feel this one might get me 50 or 60 easily as well so i don't want to go any lower than that aspect here so this is about it this is how quickly you can just pick up you can research you can pop some prices on there obviously the more knowledge you have the easier it's going to be you're going to know quickly what to look up you're going to know prices probably on a lot of these items as well if you sell the same types of items over and over and over again well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Swing this. That little hand of hers is bound to sneak over here for some of my candy. It'd be more of a drag, though, if this was just one bar, but I'm enjoying it's two pieces. I know that hand's coming over any minute, and whatever happens, I still get a whole thing of chocolate, coconut, and almonds to myself. Enjoy it, baby. Peter Paul Almond Joy. You can share half and still have a whole.